Hello, hear me? This is the first time I've done a live on my own, so I will just wait and see if anybody wants to join us. If you can let me know that it's working. Hello, is there anybody there? Ah, fantastic, a few people logging in. Hello, I'm Shan from Classroom Secrets. Um, I'm gonna be with you for about 15, 20 minutes this evening, uh, just to show you inside some of our arithmetic tests. So, um, yeah, we'll just wait for a couple more people to join us, get settled, it won't be long, and it will be worth your while. I will just wait for a couple more people before I start going. Just trying to get it up on here as well so I can see. Hello Nicola, thank you for letting me know that you're there. Okay, we've got a few more people so I shall get going. Right, so my name is Shan, I work at Classroom Secrets. Um, I've been there for just over a year now, um, a little bit longer actually, um, and really, really enjoying it. So uh, I come to you tonight not as a proofreader, but actually as a resource creator. So what have I created over the past couple of weeks for you? I've done some arithmetic tests, and the reason why is because we were asked for them. So it's good for you to know that if you ask for something, we will try our hardest to do it for you. So what is tonight about? I'm going to show you inside of an arithmetic test and explain how we've created it, um, where we've got the differentiation from, why it's progressive in the way that it is, so that you can trust our resources and use them in your classroom to help your children make progress uh, in line with the national curriculum. Hello everybody, thank you for letting me know that you're here. So, where have I got these ideas from? I'm just going to pull up on the computer and then I'm going to spin it round. I've got them from the uh, end of year SATs for Key Stage 2 and for Key Stage 1. You might recognise some of these if you're a Year 6 teacher or a Year 2 teacher. Excuse me. So inside of the SATS test, this is the actual test here, and I've looked at the mark scheme because if you're not aware, the mark scheme does actually tell you what national curriculum objectives are covered by which questions. So for example, here the first question is uh, 4N2B, which is 40 add 1000, and I've actually pulled up the test framework here to show you where these objectives can be found. Just wait for it to load. So I've just got this off of the government website. I've searched Key Stage 2 Mathematics Framework uh, Tests and it comes up. It should load, hopefully. I did have it open and I accidentally pressed back so it wasn't there anymore. Just try again. Okay, it doesn't look like it's loading just yet, so I will leave those to load in the background and I'll pull them up in a minute. So basically, as you can see here, the mark scheme actually builds up. The four at the beginning is in reference to year four. There's a year three one here, a year five one here, if I scroll down a bit, there's lots of year six ones, a bit further down at the bottom. So it shows that they aren't just tested on year six uh, objectives, they're actually tested on years three, four, five and six. So I thought that was very vital to get into our arithmetic tests. For the reason why it does this is to make sure that children don't forget the basics. Um, and that they are capable of going back to their earlier years uh, and remembering those skills as well. So if I just pull up 
our arithmetic tests, which I've got them all already open for you. You can see here the year one arithmetic test uh, has got covers, sorry, two of the year one objectives. If I take you over to the year two set, it covers year one objectives and year two objectives as well. The year three one covers year two and year three. The year four one covers year two, three, four. The year five one covers year three, four and five. So you can see that they are building up progressively. Now you might notice a lack of a year six one. I've been working on that today and it should hopefully be online um, by the end of the week. So you'll get to see that soon as well. So where did I find these on the site? If you go to our homepage, Classroom Secrets, you can actually search for our resources here. So I can put in arithmetic test uh, and I'm gonna put autumn and I'll show you why in just a second. The first set of tests that I have done are for autumn one. Uh, so there, there are six tests in each set for each year group and you can use them however you want. They are differentiated within the year groups. So here's a year, uh, year one autumn one test and the differentiation, so I'm just trying to make sure you can see it on the screen as well. Uh, you can see that it actually builds up um, from these two national curriculum objectives here, it builds up over the course of the six weeks. So it's not the same thing each time. They are getting different opportunities to focus on different parts of the curriculum objectives. So here we're starting very basic, just to number bonds two and within five, and it progresses over the six weeks. Uh, sorry, an addition only. It progresses over the six weeks up to 10 with addition and subtraction, including zero. It shows that progression across all of the um, year groups as well. So, for example, in the year three one. It starts out with finding 10 more than a given two digit number, uh, multiplying three by two, five and 10. You'll notice the two, five and 10 is a year two objective. So we're introducing it really slowly and it eventually ends up on week six at multiplying by three up to 20. So we're really pushing them every week to add to their skill set. So you can trust us and our differentiation to help your children make progress. You'll also notice as well that the amount of questions changes week by week. So to start with, they've got 12 questions in year three and it builds up to 15 questions. The reason for that is because obviously in year three, they aren't expected to sit the end of year SATs tests for year six, obviously. Um, but we want to build up their stamina and get them used to this test formatting and how it all works. So... Oh, thank you, Claire. You love these. I know you do. You've been proofreading them for me. Thank you. <laughs> if anybody's got any questions at any point, please jump in on the um, comments. I know a few of our Classroom Secrets team are on tonight to answer your questions. And if I see them in time, I will also try to answer them. So, uh, just looking at what to take, uh, to, where to show you next. I'll show you a year four test. So you can see here, it's set out in the exact same way as um, the arithmetic test is for the end of year. So the children get used to this format, they get used to having to put their answers in this box at the end. And you can see the progression as we go throughout. So it gives you the page numbers at the bottom so that the children can keep them in the correct order as well. And then we come to the end here for the teachers. Uh, this is obviously the mark scheme. We've set it out in a very similar way. The content domain reference at the top, which shows you which uh, national curriculum objective um, it covers. 
So here, 3N2B. Now I can't remember off the top of my head and I don't know it. Oh, it's loaded, fantastic. So I can just scroll down on here. And it just gives you a bit of information about the test. It's really, really useful to have a read actually if you are um, year two or year six or even uh, the mathematics coordinator. They've got one for reading, um, for SPAG and for maths as well. So here, now, if I turn this sideways, I don't know if that works. Give me a thumbs up if that works and you can see that easily. Nothing's come through yet, so I'm hoping that you can. Uh, so back onto this test here. It says 3N2B for the very first question, which is 821 add 100. If I take you back over to this one here, 3N 2B is actually find 10 or 100 more or less than a given number. So it may need. You can see here how it progresses as well. We start off, so this is uh, a year four test and we've got uh, the year three objectives, some year two objectives, um, and then some year four objectives as well. Some of these do cross over and they also cross over in the um, end of year tests as well, uh, the SATs tests. So I think that's just where um, there's a bit of overlap within the actual national curriculum um, to show how the objectives can progress as well. So uh, I don't know how much more there is to show you. Obviously you get given a mark scheme as well um, and it's got the answers nice and easy. You can either pop that up on the board and have them mark it themselves or swap tests um, or you can just send your TA around if you're lucky enough to have a TA um, and they can whiz through that as well. We obviously try to make all of our resources uh, have clear defined answers which will hopefully cut down on your marking time as well which leaves you more time um, to have a look at our fantastic resources. So um, is there anything else that you would like to know? You can contact us on our personal um, Classroom Secrets Facebook pages. If you're not um, part of the groups get yourself to Key Stage 2 um, and yeah, you can ask questions, you can ask us to create resources, just like somebody's asked us to create these arithmetic tests, we've gone away and done it. So, nice to see you all, I hope you have a lovely evening, um, and you can sit back, relax, rest assured that we have got your arithmetic planning covered.